In this video, we're going to go over the pinch brush in surface mode. It has two separate functions that work in concert together. That is the ability to indent inwardly as you brush or outwardly extrude at the same time according to the depth value you have set here and then your pinch strength which you can set here. You also can adjust your pinch curve. The default looks something like this. So I'll hit OK. I typically will use one of these first draw modes here that work with brush pressure rather than an absolute draw mode. So let's use this one and maybe a sharp fall off on your brush. You may want to turn steady stroke on if you have to make rather long strokes. So I can start with light pressure and then press harder. I can see a difference, but it's not quite enough. I pressed harder, but I don't have enough depth enabled here. So I need to right click and drag upward. I can see the value change here as well. And I probably also want to turn symmetry on. So I'll hit the S key and enable that. And I'll turn the plane off, but that still leaves my symmetry enabled. Okay, so light pressure again. I'm pressing harder. If all I want to do, if all I want to do now is just pinch, then I can right click and drag downward till my depth value is at zero or my little profile is flat. And now I can just brush along that area. Okay, so let's right click and drag upward again. And we'll practice a little bit more. A few more of these folds. This is a really good brush for very fine wrinkles. Uh, so, for example, if I wanted to create some skin textures here. I can just simply drag my brush if I need finer details obviously I would want to tessellate a bit more before going any further however you can use your shift key or your control shift key menus to add extra detail, this is utilizing live clay tessellation. If I zoom in, turn wireframe on by hitting the 4 key. I can hold down control shift key and brush along an area where I need more tessellation. Just like live clay, if I reduce my brush size, it will tessellate even more within the brush radius. So let's turn more frame back off. If you don't want to go through those steps, you can also use crease clay, which is a very close equivalent to the pinch brush, but it's going to tessellate as you create your creases. We're ready to resume.
Now, if I want to extrude a little bit, for example, around the corners of the lips on a human character, you can pull down the control key and brush, and it's going to extrude outwardly rather than indent inwardly. I should also mention that the surface pinch brush is also available whenever you are on a layer that's in voxel mode. If you scroll to the bottom under surface tools, now these may be relocated in the near future to just below the voxel brushes. So look for that. But yeah, you can use the pinch brush here, which has the same functionality. And so that's going to conclude this demonstration. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.